This poem by Rumi was shared with me by one of you out there, and I wanted to read it because it's got so many beautiful points in it, although I'm just going to camp on the one in the last two stanzas. But let me read the whole poem to you and just sit and relax into this. It's just a lovely song of devotion, really. Lovers share a sacred decree to seek the beloved. They roll the head over heels, rushing toward the beautiful one like a torrent of water. In truth, everyone is a shadow of the beloved. Our seeking is his seeking. Our words are his words. At times we flow toward the beloved like a dancing stream. At times we are still water held in his pitcher. At times we boil in a pot, turning to vapor. That, that is the job of the beloved. He breathes into my ear until my soul takes on his fragrance. He is the soul of my soul. How can I escape? But why would any soul in this world want to escape from the beloved? He will melt your pride, making you as thin as a strand of hair. Yet, do not trade even for both worlds one strand of his hair. We search for him here and there while looking right at him. Sitting by his side, we ask, Oh, beloved, where is the beloved? Enough with such questions. Let silence take you to the core of life. All your talk worthless when compared to a single whisper of the beloved. A beautiful mood in those words. A beautiful ideal to sit and be filled with. But there was one particular stanza there. He says, when we sit in the presence of the beloved and say, oh, beloved, where is the beloved? Or, oh God, when will I be able to see you? While we're staring him straight in the face. There's a famous saying by Swami Vivekananda, where he says, stop seeking God and see God. Look around me. I'm sitting in the middle of the divine. Let silence take you to the core of life. Sit and look at this beautiful world around you and be quiet. And ask yourself, what can I learn of the beloved by looking at him? The stillness of the trees, the calmness of the brook, the sweetness of the birds, the violence of the volcano, the majesty of the mountains, the immensity of the ocean, the thoughtfulness of the stars, the patience of the grass. All of these things constantly speaking, but how many are silent enough to hear? <laughs>